Welcome back. I'm so glad you stuck around because there's a new thing that Senior Services is doing in partnership with some other programs in town that I want to tell you about. And amazingly enough, it has something to do with the Senior Nutrition Program mm -hmm. and Meals on Wheels. And I'd like to welcome Joe Chevenier. That's you good enough. Chevigny. Chevigny. <laughs> There's the French way of saying it. There is a French way of saying it. Yeah, Chevalier, yeah. Chevalier, there yeah. you go. But you go by Chevigny. Chevigny. Okay. And Joe, you kind of got involved in this program delivering pet food mm -hmm. to some of our yeah. Meals on Wheels recipients. I did. How did you get roped into that? Uh, my wife, Kathy, <laughs> asked me to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And we have That's a dog. We works. have a lot of animals. Uh -huh. And we know how, how, how precious it is to have our animals in our home. So uh -huh. we know right away that was a no-brainer that uh -huh. we we're going to do that so that's neat yeah so tell me a little bit about the the pet food project Kathy. right so the the pet food project you know we provide of course our meals on wheels to seniors and sometimes seniors will share their meal with their pet um, or sometimes seniors struggle to keep their pet uh, because of cost so we went out and partnered with the meals on wheels association of america uh -huh. um, who provides grants through the banfield uh, foundation uh -huh. for pet food projects and um, we applied for the grant and partnered also with Concern for Animals locally mm -hmm. because they have the expertise in determining how much you know food a pet would need um, so we get the intake forms through our Meals on Wheels drivers with our seniors who have pets and need pet food support not everybody does uh -huh. but for folks who do they fill out an intake form we provide it to Concern for Animals a local nonprofit um, and Concern for Animals then packages the food and we have volunteers go out and deliver the food to Meals on Wheels clients and that is what uh, Joe kind of got roped into but very much enjoyed I would say yes. yeah yeah I well I did notice you picked a really good day it was one of the beautiful was, sunny winter yeah, days yeah, yeah. so that was a good job on that nice, part yeah. so what was it like taking food out to these seniors it was fun pets? it was fun we actually helped a, a one woman track her dog down it took off as soon as she opened up the door so <laughs> it took a while to get him back it was Bonnie's dog yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. it's you know I know how important it is to you know especially for older people that have lost their partners or their uh -huh. children and and to have that animal in the home to have a, a spirit in the house and it's, yeah. it's as important as anything else and very therapeutic yeah. and I've had my own dog as I as a, a therapist I've had my own dog in my office and I've worked with animals when I worked in the children's crisis outreach uh -huh. we had animals in our cars when the kids would get in and they always would calm down relax any and kid and as soon as they sat in the car there's a dog in there uh -huh. so, so I know yeah. how therapeutic they can be how valuable so, they absolutely are. Yeah. yeah yeah that's really neat so how many people did you actually deliver food to when you went uh, out that day? it was like eight or so uh, it was more than that. It, we yeah. just covered Thurston County. Uh -huh. We had yeah. hoped to cover Thurston and Mason, but Mason had to wait for another day. I think we covered about 16 people. Uh -huh. Well, 16 people, yeah. so that's 22 yeah. pets then. Because uh -huh. it was, mm -hmm. you, yeah. If you had multiple. A couple right. people yeah. had a couple of pets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and also a few strays on the outside of the... <laughs> They had their taught they had a few right. around the uh -huh. house too. So right, yeah. yeah, and then ten more for Mason County, but we uh -huh. just ended up bringing the food to the meal sites, and then they got it out through their volunteers. Uh huh. Oh, that's uh -huh. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a wonderful service, and yeah. I do want to just say that. Also, if you're not on Meals on Wheels, we do have some funds, not through the Banfield Trust, but through a private donor for food that can be picked up at the Senior Center, both the Lacey Senior Center yeah. and the Olympia Senior Center, so that folks can still get the service of help with their pets. Yeah. Right. Right. So, um, anyway, I just think it's wonderful. And there were some great photos that yeah, were taken, yeah, and yeah. I, we're going to get the pictures to our director here. So yeah. that they can be seen on the screen as well. Well, I was surprised at how easy it was to get around with the GPS uh -huh. to the houses, and it was just a breeze. It was just I was directed the whole way, and it's only a couple of hours a week. Uh -huh. I mean, I, it was the best two hours of, of the week for me. It was a lot of fun. That's right. And and a lot of times you think about volunteering, and you think about. How much, you know, there was, it wasn't any work at all. It was a very short, it was old before I knew it. I wanted to give some more dog food away. Uh -huh. I mean, I just, <laughs> I like, yeah, it was fun. So it was volunteering is a, is a, is a, is a, 
good way to spend the day. Yeah. That's really nice. Well, thanks People for are very doing happy. that, oh, Even man, if you got like, roped in a little bit. No, you guys, thanks for having that service, uh-huh. you know, allowing. That's a big thing I think people forget about social services is all the volunteers are the people who get to, to work in your programs and get to be able to be a part of that. That's the part of the service for nonprofits. And you guys yeah. do a great job. I know. I mean, I've met a lot of your volunteers and I've seen the work it takes to uh-huh. keep them, but it's so it's so important. And I felt very honored and, and respected for doing it. And everybody's been very nice with oh, me. Good. Yeah. Good. So, Kathy, if somebody's out there thinking, well, I might be able to help um, and volunteer, what mm-hmm. would they do if they wanted to mm-hmm. volunteer for senior nutrition or Meals on right. Meals? Right. Right. Uh, well, if somebody wants to volunteer, they can get on our website, the southsoundseniors.org, or give us a call. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and... Um, and we'll send them an application or stop into one of our senior centers downtown mm-hmm. or Lacey or one of our meal sites and ask for an application. Mm-hmm. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Just fill out a quick one-page application and mm-hmm. um, we screen the volunteer and get them going. Great. Yeah, I know we couldn't do the programs and the things that we do if it wasn't for volunteers. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So a couple things just to remind folks about March for Meals and March 24th is the dine out day. Right. And then go to Ralph's Thriftway and buy a little Meals on Wheels truck. Yes, they'll, they'll be unmistakable. That's right. Mm-hmm. And come to our kickoff if they can on the 4th of March at Hanson Motors. Right. And look out for community community champions that are going to be learning about Meals on Wheels and delivering them to folks in the month of March. In the month of March, that's right. March for Meals. And I know we also have had a couple of service groups come down and do some work for us. Um, Mm -hmm. What if a group wanted to come together, like a church group or a Hmm. service club or something? Right. Well, they can just call and ask for me, Kathy, Mm -hmm. Um, or, you know, they may speak with you. And what we do is we find a project that that a group Uh could do. Um, If it's younger folks who uh, have a lot of energy, we might have them wash and clean our vans, our Uh transportation vans. Um, If they want to work in the kitchen one day, they could serve Mm -hmm. or uh, set up the dining room. Um, Mm -hmm. We have a group, uh, Olympia Rotary Club, coming in to seal some meals for Meals on Wheels. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So that'll be and a lot of fun. We've had some businesses like a credit union that come and help serve like a holiday meal. Right, they right. They seem to really enjoy that mm-hmm. too. Yeah, the Washington State Employee Credit Union uh-huh. serves. Um, and, and, and I believe we have another bank that comes and helps. I uh-huh. can't remember the name at the moment, but uh-huh. to serve lunch to seniors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Usually around the holidays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but we can use help. All around the year. Yep. We'll yeah. find something for you to do if you right. want to volunteer for senior services for South Sound. That's right. And I just, one more thing about the pet thing, because we do some of the funds <clears throat> that we get for the seniors that aren't on Meals on Wheels provides pet food, but we also have a fund for people that need some vet help. So if oh, their right. vet needs, um, you know, if they need an uh-huh. exam for their their pet or some help mm-hmm. in that respect, so they can call and I need to get Sherry, our um, supportive services director on to talk a little bit more about Right. That. It's pet. brand new. I don't know yeah. all the details and there are, of course, limits, but um, yeah. yeah. But they should call us if they have right. some, yeah. you know, vet Well, it's needs. a good opportunity for your volunteers to go out because you get to see the animal and you may see something that the senior or somebody doesn't see. That's true. And be able to pick something up. So, yeah, yeah that's a... Yeah. Great. Well, good to know that. Thank you again, yeah, Joe. thank you. And thank you, Kathy. It's just really great having you on South Sound Seniors. Great. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so, stay with us. You're going to hear a little bit more about what goes on with senior services. So, don't go away.